All right, so here we have another problem that says, Um, two, ve two vehicles start out traveling side by side along a straight road. Their positions shown in the following graph are given by S is equal to F of T and S is equal to G of T, where S is measured in meters and T is measured in seconds. So if we just talk about that for a second. So the T line is on this side, the S is over here. So for example, at one second after they start driving, the G of T car is going to have gone about 0.1, sorry, 0.5 meters, whereas the F of T car has already gone two meters. Um, and we can keep going. But the first question says, which vehicle has traveled farther at t, at t is equal to two seconds? So at T is equal to two would be right here. If we go up, then G of T, the car at G of T will have gone two meters, whereas the car at, for F of T has gone four meters. So the car that's traveled further would be vehicle F because it will have traveled four meters where the other one has only traveled two. The next question says, what is the approximate velocity of the F vehicle at T is equal to three seconds? So when we're looking for velocity, we're looking for the slope of the distance versus time graph. So when we're looking for the slope, because velocity, the idea is that velocity is equal to distance over time. So this is like the change in y over change in x kind of idea. So when we're looking for velocity of a distance versus time graph, we're looking for the slope of that graph. So of the f vehicle would be the blue line. And at three seconds, we're looking for the slope at three seconds. This is just a straight line. So it's going to be a constant slope of, if we go up by two and over one, we get to the next point. So that would be a slope of two over one, or that also equals two. So the slope of the, or the velocity of the F vehicle is a constant two meters per second the whole time. And it's that at three seconds and everywhere else. So that's where this answer comes from. And then the next question says, what is the approximate velocity of the G vehicle at T is equal to three seconds? So the G curve is not a straight line. So since the G curve is not a straight line, we'll need to draw a tangent line. So the tangent line, we're trying to approximate the slope. So if we approximate the slope, it's gonna look something, something like this at three. So if we look at the slope of that, if we go one, two, three up and one over, it's going to be, not exactly, but it's going to be approximately three over one or equal to the velocity of the G vehicle at three seconds is going to be about three. So even though um, at three seconds, the F car has traveled further it's not, um, its velocity isn't as fast. This one started out slower, but now it's picking up speed and it's going to overtake the F vehicle. So for the last question, I wasn't able to fit it on here, but the last question says, which vehicle is traveling faster at T is equal to four seconds? So now if we draw a new tangent line at t is equal to four, it's going to look something like this. Let me do it in a different color. Let me change to say orange or something. t is equal to four. If we draw the tangent line, it's going to look something like this. So now the slope of this tangent line is bigger than the slope of the F line. So 
the vehicle that's traveling faster at t is equal to four would be vehicle G will be traveling faster at t is equal to four. And really, I think it already was at t is equal to three. It was already faster, even though it wasn't, it hadn't still caught up with it yet. So I hope this problem was helpful for you. If it was, please like it and share with your classmates or friends or anybody who you think would find this helpful. And take care.